Ever feel like your brain is running on fumes? One minute you're laser focused, the next you can't even remember what you were doing. Well, what if I told you the fuel you put in your body is the reason? Today we're diving into a fascinating battle. Ketones versus glucose. Which one is the ultimate brain fuel? Let's start with the brain itself. This little three-pound organ is an absolute energy hog. Think about this. It makes up only 2% of your body weight, but it devours a whopping 20% of your daily energy intake. It's constantly working, even when you're asleep, and it needs a steady supply of fuel to keep firing on all cylinders. So where does it get this energy? Meet the default champion, glucose. This is your brain's go-to fast-acting fuel. You get it from carbohydrates, think bread, pasta, fruits, and yes, even that sugary soda. When you eat carbs, your body breaks them down into glucose, which zips right up to your brain. It's fantastic for quick thinking, problem solving, and those moments when you need an instant mental boost. But it could, there's a catch. Ever had a sugar rush followed by a massive crash? That's the downside of glucose. It can cause energy spikes and slumps, leaving you feeling sharp one moment and totally sluggish the next. Now let's talk about the challenger, ketones. These are your brain's backup fuel. Your body produces ketones from fat when it doesn't have enough glucose. This happens during periods of fasting, intense exercise, or when you're on a very low-carb diet, like the keto diet. Unlike glucose, ketones are a slower, more stable energy source. Think of it like a slow-burning log in a fireplace versus a flash of kindling. Many people who switch to a ketogenic state report incredible mental clarity, reduced brain fog, and sustained focus without the crashes. Ketones are also thought to be anti-inflammatory for the brain, which is a huge bonus. So which one is better? Honestly, it's not that simple. It really depends on the context. Think of it this way. Glucose is for the sprints. Need to cram for an exam or ace a high-pressure presentation? A banana or some whole grains can give you that quick glucose-powered edge. Ketones, on the other hand, are for the marathons. They provide that steady, enduring energy for long-term focus and cognitive endurance. Research is even exploring how ketones might help in managing neurological conditions like epilepsy and slowing the progression of Alzheimer's. So the real takeaway is this. Both fuels have their place. Your brain is incredibly adaptable and will use whatever you give it. What you eat isn't just about feeding your stomach. It's a direct command to your brain, shaping its performance, its clarity, and its long-term health. So the next time you eat, ask yourself, am I fueling a sprint or am I fueling a marathon? The choice is yours.